Peace, family. You see him, the one and only, the beast. The beast, the, the business mongol. Mongol. Did I say that right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you already know I am the beast. You can follow me at the beast and the squad PR and realize, understand that I'm fooling with you, even if you ain't fooling with me. But I can't fool with you if you ain't fooling with yourself. You're fooling with yourself is fooling with hip hop Tallahassee. Artists that's rocking Tallahassee, rocking the East Coast, going out west, Texas, and all, all other places. This brother, man, I can say he's a real good brother. The first time I even, uh, Lua came in knowledge of him, was at a meeting about our, our artists in the city. And this brother had such a passion about trying to make a difference that um, just my spirit connected with him. I didn't even know him at the time. But ladies and gentlemen, my brother, my friend, The Beast. I, I, I like to call him P.R. We live. I appreciate being on the stage. Man. Yeah, so so much is going on, you know, with you, and um, I'm just proud. I'm, I'm, I'm really elated. All the moves that you're making, you're such a young brother, you know, we want to encourage that, man. And you know, so you're doing a lot of great things. And so a lot of people know, you know, about your music and like some of your endeavors. But you know, I know you touched on it a little bit. I hear you dropping little jewels on your channel. Uh, VHS, yeah, VHS, the whole uh, empire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went over there, and I mean, I love what you're doing. Um, and um, so, I just wanted to see how how did that start? You know what I'm saying? I, I, people don't know. I know that just doesn't come out of uh, by yourself. I mean, it is some of it of yourself, but. You had to be around or come up around some old G's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VHS, VHS originally um, was just slang for, um, I'm finna go get a fresh tape up. I'm finna go get a fresh tape up. You'd be like, oh, it'd be like, hey, y'all finna go get a VHS, you know, a tape up. You'd be like, dang, but um, we was looking for something that represent us um, to let people know we did more than music and we was a movement, but um, that we, it was a lifestyle too. And, um, you know, when we were with VHS, it was a very high society, and it was like, you know, like, yeah, you got to be a part of this society. It's the cool kids. And then, but then, I, I linked with some other people with, um, put more meaning to it with the music, film, and lifestyle, because it's more, like I say, it's more than just music. I want people to know, like, we, we grasp on every, on every topic, every subject that's dealing with the music industry. So, when we present VHS out there, I want people to know that VHS is me, VHS is you, VHS is everybody, you know what I mean? Which came first? The music or the business? I mean, what, what was it for you? Was you? Did you fall in love with, you know, doing music? I hear Rico, shout out to Rico the champ. Um, Sometimes he, he brags about you because he seen how you started you know coming out to, I guess, some of his events to see, to see where you are now. You look beautiful. I'm just fucking around. Shouts out to the homie Hotspot, you feel me? But we are at VHS Lounge, you feel me? Remember, today is the day. The unpaid showcase. Do not sleep. It's going to be a lot of dope energy in the building. A lot of dope talent. <laughs> M music, I would say, started first. But not even movies started first. Film started first. Really? Film was, was more important than music. I love music. I love music. But I'm a, I'm a big movie head. I'm, I'm like, I, I break down a movie. I've been trying to film movies since I was like a little kid, checking out cameras from libraries and stuff like that and um, like making small skits and doing improv with kids in the neighborhoods and stuff like that. So, um, and I still did music. I mean, music, I started rapping in my fifth grade, but it, it was still like, it was still there, but film was like dominating until I noticed like Rap was more, or music was more, it started dominating the field because, like, I, I wasn't, I didn't have the cameras to have access to all of the time, and I didn't have the time to, but I always had time for that pen and pad. So it was just like, I'll be writing, 
and be like, dang. So I think of a movie thing where I think of a skit, but I can't get to it in time because I don't have everybody that I need to fill in with it. And there's only so many one-man skits you can do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, I, so that's what some of them skits we see. That's yeah, why that, yeah, a little yeah. of that's coming yeah, out, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Going out to McDonald's again in 9 to 5. Well, you're going to have to get a construction job or something because you're smoking at work. You I ain't constructing that. Look, don't get smart. I, I'm not. You're right. Now, when you get done smoking them tweeds, get in there and clean up. All right? Yes, ma'am. Don't make me have to tell you again. Yes, ma'am. It's a little okay. bit of it's coming out because that's like I suppressed it so long and it's like... Cause I used to run a DVD for um, I had no job, but I um, I had a computer and I had a camera. Yeah. And um, I said, forget it. I was like, yeah. for the for the going around the city, and it's, it was called the get off. And whatever you got off on doing, I filmed it. So if you skateboard, if you, I had to do yo yo in on the camera, and I put a Kanye West beat to the back of it. It was dope. But people, I go to people jobs in their work clothes and their freestyle at their jobs and stuff. So <laughs> I, we made it up the volume to eight volumes. Wow. Um, DVDs, and I sell the DVDs for five dollars a piece. Like physical copies, I burn each copy and yeah. sell it off whatever until I got a job back, and I was still doing it. But then. The job and the, like I said, the music started taking over, and I kind of fell back from the film a little bit. And yeah. but yeah, I was I was actually guy like Kid Grant. I was like, yeah, this guy, this guy actually worked out, and yeah. I should be like on volume like <laughs> sixty eight right now. But um... yeah, baby, I'm gonna put this whooping on the beats. <laughs> Hello, this that funky comedino on my side, the grass is greener, and I'm always my demeanor. I entertain my clone and cleaner. If she reppin', then we team her. I just wanna cop a beamer. If she want me from going with the team, it's time to eat feed me like Tina. Looking for a Serena. No shot yeah, like my hat. You seen her? I live in the clouds. Like I'm a dreamer. Are they still around? Yeah, I still got copies of them. I got like single. I, I got like, 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 and, like and, and people hit me up and they be like, you know, I still got a copy of that DVD. And then. <laughs> Yeah, one dude, he has every, every one, and oh, he, won't, he won't give them to me, but he'll bring them over, and he'll be like, yeah, I got all eight of them, <laughs> and he'll close it up, mine, and I'm like, great, like, keep a hold of that, because, you know, one day, it might be worse. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, for real, no doubt, man, so, like, I can hear even in that, you was, for you to be trying to do a DVD, and I, I suppose you were selling them, or? <laughs> yeah, selling them so all there, There's some hustle. There, there's some hustle, there's some business yeah. mind there. So, I mean, tell us a, a little bit about, I guess, did you come up around that environment, like entrepreneur-minded people? I mean, uh, what was it, around you? watch a movie it just it, I don't know it like it, I'm in the movie like it's yeah. I, it's not just a TV thing for me it's not people be like oh I'm you grew up when you were a TV baby no it's not that it's just like I'm I like the plots I like I like how they wonder how they put together the movie how much money it took to put together that movie what budget they use could I replicate something like that so you were thinking like that as a child I'm in LA, smoking Darbon poison. You feel me? It's it's a it's a it's a good it's a good strain. You feel me? It got me feeling lifted. I got my meeting with Atlantic tomorrow. They just called me, made sure we were still good. 
yes, we're still good. I'm in LA. I'm anxious. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm all of the above. You feel me? You fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. I'm fucking with you. If you ain't fucking with me, but I can't fuck with you if you ain't fucking with yourself. I didn't and have, I mean, my mom is the like the biggest hustler I know. Like just I mean, because, shout out to mom. yeah, shout out to mom, <laughs> and not just like on the illegal stuff. Just yeah. she just always had a job. She always had to do what she had to do. Yeah. And so I just watched that and just knowing that like it's always a way. Yeah, always. It's always a way. Overcoming, and that's what I that's what I like. What I see, like. You have an overcoming spirit, you know what I'm saying? You have a good... Uh, I know you never leave me alone. I know you won't. You keep your eyes on me all day, all day. And never run out of things to say. Never, ever, Never mind them silly games we play. Taking pictures with me just for show, just for show. You take me wherever you like to go, my buddy. So... Can I be your phone, please? I know you never leave me alone. I know you won't. Where you have your empire at, you know, where you, how you set that up and was able to force um, what, that, what that building could be. You know, that's a visionary. You know, and so I think that's very important to what you just said, you know, finding a way. Finding a way. Would you, how would you, is that something that could be taught? Or does that just come from hunger, thirst? That come from, yeah, that come from a lot you know, of hungry surviving. nights. surviving. <laughs> that come from a lot of hungry nights. You know, I tell you. That's what, you know, some people don't know about that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We come, you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't have a spoon in my, in, in uh, a silver plate, as yeah. they call it. You know, I didn't have it rough. But, you know what I'm saying, you know, sometimes the lights got cut off, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I tell so, a lot of people like it, it it's going to tell that how I, I live without, I, I just been up and down. I, I've been without lights for, as a kid, for about three to four months at a time. So, and that's hot dogs over candles, that's eating Debbie cakes, that's surviving off that. That's waiting for your dad to, well, not my dad, but waiting for, you know, the next best thing you call your dad to, like, pick you up and get a shower and stuff like that. So you gotta, you go through all of that. Like I said, people don't, you could, like, you, people will see me, you know, I might have my gold teeth, whatever, like that, and, you know, my hair might be done, and you be like, oh, yeah, he got the deal, and this, this, and that. I still like any dream. Turn it to nightmare. Turn it to nightmare. Stop on the train. Watch out for you. Stop on the train. 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 Stop on So what do you have to say about artists in Tallahassee who feel like the city ain't behind them or, you know, artists are not supporting them? I mean, how do you overcome that or how did you overcome that? Well, the city, wherever city, wherever you're yeah. from, <laughs> is going to, is going to reject you at first. It's always going to, like, because they, they're like, why are you? Who are you? Who are you to make it? I went to elementary with you. I went to middle school with you. Like, okay, you ain't gonna be famous. And then when you do get famous, then I know you. So, but it's just like, right now is, you don't have to, the support is gonna come automatic. It's gonna come automatic. When you don't pay attention to, when you don't pay attention to that stuff, when you, when you let your work ethic speak for you, because in the beginning, like, nobody messed with me. Um, and Talk I, about that a little bit. I yeah. mean, how did you feel doing, what made you keep going? Did you feel like get quitting some nights? I mean, feel like, I felt like quit last week. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I felt like quit last week. So that, that's, a, that's a realistic thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a realistic thing. Like, yeah. you feel like the, the feeling of wanting to quit and quitting is two different things. Good point. So, like uh, I said, I, um... Did that artist. Did yeah, that. Yeah, nobody, nobody used to mess with me. I was, a. Uh, I don't know what kind of rapper I am. I just know I I was in a hood club, the hoodies club in Tallahassee doing it. And there was what they wasn't messing with me. They was using the bathroom when I hit the stage and stuff like that and step out. 
and do drugs and stuff. I'd be like, I'd be like oh, it's that. Dang. So I was like, y'all gotta use the bathroom right when I perform? It's like, okay. But um, it was knowing that I wanted it. Yeah. That's like you being hungry for something to eat. It's like a sandwich right there that got mayo on it. I don't eat mayo. I don't eat mayo at all. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in a long time. I'm hungry. And by going not in, somebody said, and that's the only thing I can eat. That's the only thing I can eat. That's the only thing I can eat. And it's mayo sandwich. It's a mayo sandwich. It, it got mayo on it. I don't care if it's light mayo, but that's the only thing I eat. And they tell me, and they telling me, that's the only thing I can eat. And I'm hungry. I'm gonna sit a while. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna sit a while and I'm gonna wait. But when it really comes down to it, I'm gonna have to eat that sandwich. I ain't nobody finna. And then people gonna tell me they gonna they gonna look at oh he eating that sandwich. And blah blah blah. People that only eat sandwiches with wheat bread gonna look at you funny. People that eat sandwiches with the crust cut off gonna look at you funny. People that don't eat meat gonna look at you funny. But you was hungry enough to eat that sandwich. That sandwich is that sandwich to me represents like just this life. It's like I know there's some things in life that I know I'm not gonna be able to stand. I know I'm not gonna be, I'm not I know I ain't gonna like. It. Certain people in life I don't like. I have to deal with certain things in life. I have to deal with certain people in life. You can't go through life and it's like, oh no, that's not for me. That's not for me. I'm not hanging out with that person because that's why you're in the position you're in right now. Networking is everything. So when you stay in your circle, when you stay in your three to five people circle, that's all who know you. Those three to five people. Let's go into that a little bit. I know a lot of people want to know. How is the beast moving like he moving? We saw, we saw the big poster out there with out the poster uh, board, the billboard, yeah, yeah. billboard out yeah. west and about the concert and where's that? Um, Coming up, right? New Mexico, New Mexico yeah, or something yeah. like that. We saw him um, jumping up and down with uh, what's uh, the what's Chris the Gotti, yeah, yeah, Chris Gotti and yeah. all. We saw him on a plane. Uh, we we see him LA. doing shows. Yeah. He, he brought Big Boss Wood. Shout out to Big Boss Shout Wood. Come, he, you know he TJ DJs out there. So How people want to know what well, what are what, you doing? How you getting all that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, come on. I know you ain't gonna give us everything. Oh, but no, I give you everything. <laughs> Tell, I, I mean, you know the artist is asking. I grind. I work. <laughs> like literally, like a lot of y'all think um you can do it without you can just do music just to do music. I had somebody tell me they quit their job uh -oh. just to do music. Uh oh. <laughs> and if you establish you tell if you establish maybe because I had I had quit my job for like six, I had quit working for six or seven months, it was just eating off of studio time and stuff. But I know I wanted more. I could have stayed in that same house, running the same studio in the same room and everything like that, and had a stage in my backyard and stuff like that. But I knew I wanted more. So I had to go back out and get another job. It's still running. I had, time is everything. Every minute is precious. So if I use every minute of the day, like sleeping is important too. Yeah. But you know, you <laughs> get you, you get you get as much sleep as you can. Yeah. Before you get back up there. Don't, me myself, I don't go to sleep till like one or two. And then I wake up at six or seven. Right. So. You still kind of do that? And, yeah, yeah, you still, and then I'm like powering out for 30 minutes to an hour at midday, if I have it, if I have it. And that's like passing out on the couch in the studio. So wait a minute, you saying just your grind doing all this? Just my grind. Man. Okay, now, when people say that, and shout out to TJ DJ, mm -hmm. he made a statement about what grind is. Because he said at the uh, at the mix, shout out to uh, Goldie Sound, but in the mix, he made a statement out there. He said that some people think grinding is standing in the studio all day, making I love, records. I love people that think that. I love people that think that. <laughs> he said, man, that's that, the easy right part. Now, that ain't really post. no grinding. I be seeing the coach and be like, I'm in the studio, I'm in the studio again at night. I'm in the studio again. I'm yeah. in the studio. I be like, wow. So the grinding is getting out. Yeah. And meeting the people. Yeah. That, and that's, going to these locations. That is, and I heard you say that a lot about willing to travel and things like that. That's what they want to see. So talk about that grind you're talking about. 
you gotta, first off, I don't even, I grind in my city, but I grind so much out of my city that my city see it. Now, I want people to know, like, I leave my city to put in work so my city know I'm putting in work. But every time I leave my city to put in work, no matter what city I'm in, I let them know that. From a city called Jalak, Florida, fuck with the boy. Even though, and a lot of people don't even do that, though. A lot of people go out of town, they be like, oh, yeah, I'm they pop up, they shot their, they shot their social media out. But now, I, every time I hit the say, Jay, you know I'm from Tallahassee, blah blah blah, and this is where I'm about, and you know where I'm from. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no mishaps. And now my city know where I'm doing that. So now I'm motivating the people that can't get where they want to get right now to go out and get more. You know what? I'm glad you, you got it. And I heard you say that more than one time. And I don't know if people are catching it, but even if they look at TJ. The way he moved, he always repping the city. T-Pain had already repped the city. And it's a lot of people that people don't know that have either come by way here through school or whatever, yeah. have been here and they're out different places. And so when you do shout out your city, sometimes you're creating networks that you don't even know that you're creating. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? You yeah. yeah, and people, cause always people gonna wanna know, like, damn, when you from Tallahassee, who else from Tallahassee? Yeah. Well, 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 those things out in Tallahassee. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. And Tallahassee is so, it's so, it's flourishing with so many different talents and different artists. Nobody's the same. I haven't ran into somebody in Tallahassee like that stay in and like Man. in Tallahassee that's the same, whatever like that. This is a hot bed. I really it believe is. that. That's why I'm trying to encourage if people start looking at Hip Hop Tallahassee on IG, I'm trying to encourage them to put your city in your your bio. You know what I'm saying? Number one, we're trying to cater to Tallahassee artists, but put your city in there because people and A and R's people are they, coming. They, they and they're looking. They're looking at that. They're looking. But the, the thing is, I'm not even from Tallahassee. I know. I, we heard not, it. No, no, I'm no, not, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I'm from Tallahassee now. I'm from Tallahassee. But tell them, tell them about that because yeah, yeah. You, you should rep, you should be clear. I mean, it's good, you know, to because uh, I want to get I want to get you know I get up in I get up in the ranks and stuff and people be like he ain't even he was he ain't born in Tallahassee. Listen, I was born yeah, 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 I was born Miami yeah. Beach, Miami Beach, Florida, yeah. and moving back from there to Tallahassee there because the earliest I moved to Tallahassee was. For second grade yeah. at Woodville Elementary. So I've yeah. been in Tallahassee since second grade. Then I right. moved back to Miami. Then I kept moving right. back and forth. Right. So I'm from Tallahassee since yeah, fifth grade. Man, you, I'm, I mean, I'm Tallahassee. Where you live and where you play. You know what I'm saying? Your community, where you're a part of a people, yeah. a part of a community. It's home. And that's what we're saying. And there's nothing wrong with representing. Uh, Miami at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Nah, yeah, nah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Tell that when I first yeah. started rapping. It was, <laughs> do your five, baby. Do your five. I used to be like, oh, yeah. I'd be all day with the Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we know it ain't no fly, you know. Yeah, 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 you already know. <laughs> 8 5 vote till I die. Yeah, you already know. Right. I can move anywhere in the world. I still know it's yeah. 8 5 vote. That's what's up. So, man, I mean, we really appreciate this. So, let's, what's going on? Tell the people. We, I know you just recently dropped a new album. Um, I forget. I like that one. I like that song that you. 1986. Yeah, it was like the one you've been pushing. Um, lessons on lessons. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you just dropped like an EP, right? Yeah, yeah. The, Tell um, them what you got going on, man. Right? Yeah. I, I just what dropped 1986. That was the EP. It's like the prelude for Birth of a Beast. Birth of a Beast is gonna be the album that separates me from. A lot of uh, no, 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 no. I had to learn how to run with the game, earn in the pain, keep it for it off. I'm a K, stay in my lane, cause they wanna throw dirt on my name. Ain't no sense still waiting for change if you don't wanna change. The just will go to a record deal. The beast has a record deal. I had to learn how to run with the game, earn in the pain, keep it for it off. I'm a K, stay in my lane, cause they wanna throw dirt on my name. Ain't no sense still waiting for change if you don't wanna change. You know, people wanna know. Beast, what's up with that? That record deal you were talking about, you know what I'm saying? The record, can you can you make any reference to it? The talk record about deal it? is still yeah. on the table. I just haven't taken it. Um, we really wanted to try to negotiate them with a higher price because a lot of people. I had an artist come to my studio the other day and they asked about the record labels and you know the money they give you. Do you have to pay it back and stuff like that? You have to pay that back. 
they giving you a budget. It's they a giving you a budget, yeah. and you have to work everything out of that budget. You got to work, you know, your flights, your rental cars, you got your Lyft drivers, the champagne you drinking, the club events, everything, your music videos, your gear you getting, everything. Because if your album didn't do good, if your sales didn't do good, how you gonna rep how you gonna um, bring that money back? So, and if you can't bring that money back, then you're still trying to get that money back. Now the label took a loss on you, and now they're not gonna put no more money behind you. So, not saying I needed more money for the budget. I needed more. When you get a when you get a deal on the label, you're supposed to have enough where you can invest in yourself. A lot of people don't invest in themselves. They invest in the idea of being famous. And when you lose track of famous and broke, famous and broke. And when you lose track of investing in yourself versus the idea of being famous, then that's when you lose. BC, you know, you know, see, BC's a busy man, man. Yeah. He's a busy man. I was trying to, I mean, it's probably well, I was trying to get up with you about probably about two months now, trying yeah, to get yeah, you yeah, to yeah. sit We've down. Been trying to schedule it. This man be busy, but you know what? I always notice you have time for your children. I'm not gonna say kids because they ain't yeah. no goats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for your children, I, I admire that so much, and I think that it's a it's really important that artists, especially hip hop Tallahassee artists. So I want to show our community that we're not just artists, but we are fathers and mothers. You know, we are people working. We, we pay taxes. We have a right to the government fundings to come back to us the same way like everybody yeah. else. Yeah. But tell us about the importance of you. I, I, where does that come from? I mean, I know you love your children. So, man, I just honor that. So how you, how, what made you say, you know what, I'm going to make sure even though I do this music, I'm going to have time for my children? Just knowing that I didn't have that. A lot of, I think a lot of us dads right now do that because we didn't have that. And not just because we, I know, not, you know, not just because it's what you're supposed to do. Yes. Because, you know, you had, I had that feeling of when I was growing up, like my step, I had a step that was, that was more of a dad than, for me than my dad. Yeah. So... I don't, um, and it's a, it's a sense of thing for me, like I can't have, like yeah, my kids can have stepdads or whatever like that, and, but I'm a, I'm their dad. Right. They only have one dad. Yeah. Like my mom used to tell me, she'd be like, I, you only have one mom, and you only, and what you gonna do? And I just be like. <laughs> so my mom was like the strongest person I know. And she, she, wow. all, she made time, like I, she do I'm bingo with us. On here, yeah, man. she do bingo <laughs> with us. She do everything with us and like, like red, like red, like one, two, three, mother, may I stuff like that. Just oh, okay. random games and stuff. And just so you came up with the game thing, Archie like, Craft yeah. and stuff like that. She was always there with a project or something like that. So knowing that I could do that, like we can, I could do paper mache with my kids. We could do volcano. We, you ain't just got to do experiments in class. You can do this at the house with because they gonna take that and they gonna remember that. Yeah. They're gonna remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell tell people um, about what you got going on at VHS, you know, the opportunities and how they can contact you and Tuesday and Thursday we do VHS presents the booth where we interview artists for an hour long. They get to perform up to two to three songs and we get to know more about them. You know, and they hit the stage and they give it they all. You know, we have something going on every day at VHS. You can hit me up at the beast underscore PR. Call me 954 218 or email me very high society 850 at gmail.com and be in contact with us about any events going around at VHS. Oh. That's what's up. So with that, with that fam, we're gonna uh, we're gonna let Beast go. And uh Shots man, I appreciate you coming out. Shout out to Hip Hop Tell the Assets been love all day. Yeah man, appreciate it. Hey, so run away, all day, wait, run away, run away. My skin high hit the run. All black, all sweat. I'm in my pain. JJ, let's go with that with your bitch. Main day, it's a race for the chase. Take K, I got the hot side on. KK, pay day, every day. I went in my way, no big day. I'm on the highway, no freeway. State property, no freeway. I'm a bad boy, nigga.
that no cheesecake. I ain't passing shit. Fuck a relay. Give it to me. Bring it back. No replay. I got season for the sauce. Old bay. Yo, I ain't saying shit. Cold case. This adventure of a lifetime. Cold play. But if you ain't living your life, role play. Bitch. Okay. Hit the runway. Now. Up high. Nitrate. Battle rapper guns. Bit case. I don't give a fuck. No slay. Runway.